Hi, I'm State Representative Chad Magen-Nutz. We're now in week seven of the legislative session. Last Friday was the deadline for policy bills to pass out of committees, and I'm happy to report that several of my education bills made the cutoff, many with unanimous support. The first bill adopts computer science teaching standards and creates an endorsement and retooling scholarship for teachers who want to specialize in high tech. It also creates a grant program for purchasing equipment and developing programs to engage both teachers and underrepresented students. It requires private contributions so the state doesn't spend money until we hit a one-to-one -one match. I've been working with Representative Drew Hansen on this and I'm really excited about the potential it has for encouraging more computer science instruction in our schools. Other bills include making sure students are meeting standards for technology literacy and fluency, reporting more meaningful school assessment results that protect individual student data privacy, and requiring near vision screening in our schools, which can catch the 40% of vision problems that aren't detected with the distance screening test we have today. Did you know that near vision problems account for 70% of illiteracy in juvenile halls and 90% in prisons? I'd also like to talk briefly about the issue of raising the minimum wage. This has been a big topic in Olympia. One of the problems I have with another wholesale minimum wage hike is the adverse effect it could have on youth unemployment. Right now, 53% of young people with bachelor's degrees are unemployed or working in a completely unrelated field to their major. And while Washington has historically had slightly lower unemployment rates than the national average, that's not true for our teenagers. Our youth unemployment rate is more than a third higher than the national average. And that's at least partially because we've already got the highest minimum wage in the country. If we're going to have another increase in the minimum wage, it's also got to come with a training wage that allows young, largely unskilled workers to get their feet in the door and attain the practical job skills that will eventually move them up the pay scale. And as a parent of two teenagers, I really just don't want them to be living in my basement because they can't find a job. So I'm interested to know what you think. Send me an email or give me a call. Thanks and have a great week.